Hey everyone, it's Leftovers for Dinner, and today is spa day for me. And spa day usually means a facial, or um, taking off my gel manicure. See my gel manicure? Which is a pretty intensive process, so it's a kind of an all-day thing. Now this gel manicure, the um, best way to take it off is to basically soak my hands in acetone for a little bit. So once that's done, my hands are really dried out, kind of damaged, and stuff and I need to use like a sugar scrub and a moisturizer. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make my own sugar scrub. Now this is a recipe I've tried once or twice and I really like it so I'm sharing it with you guys. It's a really basic recipe. Basically, it is focusing. <laughs> it is two parts sugar, one part oil, a teaspoon of vitamin E oil, and some essential oils or flavors. Now that flavor part comes in hand when you're making your own lip scrub, and I'll show you how to do that too. So here is my recipe, which is two thirds cup turbinado sugar, one third cup coconut oil. I use three vitamin E gel capsules, I just squeeze them out, and then optional oils. So let's go ahead and go over what you need to make this. Uh, I have eyedroppers, yay. <laughs> Measuring cups, always handy. Spare jars, now this jar looks familiar. You know why? Because it's basically a bullion cube jar. Now some people don't recommend using plastic jars. This is a heavyweight, durable plastic jar that had bullion cubes in it. And the reason they recommend not using it is because if you use brown sugars or things like vanilla extract, it discolors the jar. But that's no big deal. Um, the reason I use a plastic jar is because I actually use this in the shower and the last thing I want is a glass jar in the shower falling down and shattering everywhere. Safety folks, seriously. So I also have a mini jar because I'm gonna do a lip sugar scrub, I have some essential oils, and I have some stickers, which are a useful suggestion. They say homemade on them. If you want to make sugar scrub for your friends and give it away as a gift. I also have some dark brown sugar, which will be used in the lip scrub recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and open up the turbinado sugar. Recipe calls for two thirds of a cup. So, go ahead and get that in there. Oops. There we go. And this is not pouring the way I want it to. It's kind of getting all over the table, but that's okay. So, we'll make up for some of that. Now, one third cup of coconut oil. Now you're gonna see that this is a non-GMO coconut oil and it's a cooking oil. It's completely edible, it's safe for your skin. And if you're making a lip scrub, it doesn't matter if you accidentally lick it off your lips. Depending on your skin type and how much moisturizer or how much scrubbing you can need, you can adjust the oil as necessary. Now, if you can see that, the oil is saturating the sugar right now. I'm kind of cool just watching it. <laughs> now, while it's doing that, we're going to go ahead and do our mini version of a lip scrub. So. This is a half teaspoon, so I'm just going to stick with my recipe, which is two parts sugar. And here's the thing about a lips, since they're gentle, you probably need slightly finer grit. So I'm going to break out my 
brown sugar, which has been up in my cabinet for a while. Okay. I'm going to have to get this out in pieces. Now, I use the turbinado sugar because it's got an interesting grit to it. But when it comes to my lip scrub, I'll use the finer grit sugars. Okay. And we're just going to let that sit. With the finer grit sugars, sometimes you need a tiny bit more coconut oil to get it to break down. So this one is pretty much done and ready. At this point, for your body sugar scrub, go ahead and start with your vitamin E. About three capsules, either, you know, you can buy liquid vitamin E or you can just use your normal vitamin E supplement, which you should all be taking. And about three capsules equals just under half a teaspoon. So. Oops. Vitamin E is actually very good for lips as well. So you can always add it to the lip scrub too. And just add a little bit. Oh, it got on my finger. Okay, we'll need to open another one. So now, we're going to use our essential oils. For my body scrub, my go-to is always peppermint or lavender or a combination of both. I don't get too fancy. You can easily add, you know, pumpkin spice herbs to it for a fall time feel, or for the winter, add a variety of mint essential oils. It's entirely up to you. For me, I'm just going to do couple. Ah. It's not coming out, so let's go ahead and try with the peppermint. Okay, I got a couple of, oh, there we go. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I got eight peppermint drops in there. That's pretty much what you need. For the lip scrub, I'm going to Use some vanilla extract. Get out my eyedropper. And you really do not need a lot, so I'm actually putting a bunch back. So, one, two, and that's about it on the vanilla. And I will add one more, one drop of peppermint. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so now I have a peppermint vanilla lip scrub already ready. And you can stir it up once the oil is done saturating things. Oddly enough, this vanilla peppermint lip scrub, very similar to my favorite Lush lip scrub. Hmm. Now this, ready to go. All I have to do is close it up, shake it, shake it before every shower usage, and put a cute little sticker on it.
There you go. So that's my sugar scrub recipe. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any variations or suggestions to make it better or make it your own, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.